Right, it's 37 degrees. It's too hot to stand on the floor, but it's 41 degrees in London, so we're doing all right. And here's the Ostro with its latest edition, something I didn't really want to buy, I have to say. Um, I was going to wait as long as I possibly could before I had to do this, but I kind of had no choice because on Saturday's ride, yet again, the front brake completely failed me and came back to about here and there was just no power there whatsoever and we were doing hills we we're doing all the coals in in Mallorca quite fast and coming downhill with just the back brake and a tiny bit of front brake was interesting to say the least um, so you know I've had this before if you look at my previous video on the Mallorca 312 I had it then as well had a full brake service at in eight, end of April it lasted about a month or so before getting very squidgy again and you just never knew really what kind of brake power you're going to have on each different ride and they've been bled so many times these brakes and it's just i can't be doing with that really it's, you, you can't descend like that with the brake feel different every time it's just just on and even the power is lacking as well so the only solution really was to go campagnolo which i hear is much more much better much less uh worries and maintenance or believe Shimano in that they've improved the brakes on the 9200 and I guess that's what I had to do really um, very hard to get hold of luckily our local shop managed to get a few sets so the brake calipers have changed they are now a little bit different if we come on this side you can see uh, that the that the bleed uh, port area has changed the there's a little, it's a bit different on the uh, on the piston front there. The pads are the same. There's not a great deal of difference. They're a touch lighter, 10 grams each. So that's like 20 grams lighter. The the shifters are, I, I didn't really notice so much difference in holding them until you kind of want to put your thumbs on top here and then you feel the extra height. This, this bit here is quite a bit higher. So, you know, in theory, less aero. And they are also like 40 grams heavier for the for the pair because you have the coin set in here now. The cable uh, has gone in between them. The cable down the frame has gone. The only cables you have left are just the cable from the rear mech to the battery, which is still in the same place. The battery is different. It's not the same as the old one. Same shape, but different. Uh, it's got it's got three ports on it now. And the front array here, which is uh, 10 grams lighter, lower profile, looks quite nice. Shifts very fast, we'll come back to that. The rear mech, because all the brains are now in here and you charge through here, uh, it's a little bit heavier. It's, I think it's about 30 grams. Uh, so overall, you actually got a slight weight gain, but if you take away the, um, the what is it the 9 RS 910 uh, from here that saves like 20 grams the cables save 20 grams um, it's kind of pretty much the same the same weight really perhaps a slight penalty of 30 40 grams uh, which I don't particularly like but I can live with it and it's really you know it's it's for the braking you know I just have to hope that the braking is good we have a 12 speed cassette now it doesn't change a great deal. I had 11.28 before, now I've got 11.30. Um, I assume this is a 27. So it's, it's quite nice because I run a 36 up the front. So 36.28 was a little bit of a slog up the very steep stuff. So now I've got a, a slightly lower gear here. Um, and and uh, But really nothing much changes uh, in the rest of the cassette. The chain is a special 12 speed chain. So I can't, I've had to kind of, take off the nice uh, blue KMC uh, DLC chain that I've only had on here a month or so which is a little bit of a shame so yeah all in all it's not something I would have I would have done but you know for the benefit of the cycling community I thought I would try it and tell you all what it's like um, I mean the nice thing is when I reported on this before it even came out I said it'd be nice if they made it semi wireless because I think running these wires is really nice and easy it gives you a, a solid link to the battery here and um, you know you don't have to faff around with wires up here anymore so that that's all good um, so I like I like that part of it but really you know I didn't take the crank set obviously because I think it's uh, a bit crap it, it's it's hev much heavier than before 
doesn't look particularly nice it's super chunky and I just think this is this rotor Aldri carbon is a, is a way better crank set so I didn't I didn't take that I didn't take the brake rotors either because I don't think they're anything, they're anything special either so I saved a little bit of money there um, so um, yeah let, let's see how it rides okay so just a quick look at the shifting speed on this which is definitely better than the 9100 it's faster so on the front it's down it's up it's down it's up it's down it's up it's very fast and the rear also is nice and quick and precise i've set this to the fastest it can be which is how i had it before but this is considering it's wireless it's really quite nice you know this uh it's pretty good and as far as the brakes go um there's no rub we don't have any rub going on which is really good the pads are a little bit further apart from the disc you can see that shimano says 10 percent. i think that's about right and the feel the feel at the lever is just nice and firm it's uh it feels strong and that's exactly how i like it there's no sponginess there as long as it stays that way and it's consistent and stays like that that'll be great so let's see how how it goes so really, you know, the shifting's fast and precise, the brakes feel strong and there's no rub. That's all good at this point. Um, let's see how it relates to riding on the road. Is it, is it as good? Um, are there any other issues? Okay, out on the open road. And um, I do think that the new shape of these, of these shifters is not a step forward, really. I mean, when you're holding it like this, which is what I do most of the time, it's fine. There's no real difference that you can feel. But, uh, you know, sometimes I like to ride like this, kind of have a finger up on top like that. Um, and that's when you feel the real extra height here, which I guess they've done to make the brakes actually work because there's more going on in there. Change the leverages, maybe the servos, the, the, uh, the reservoirs and all that. Um, so yeah, I don't particularly like that, but it's not a deal breaker. Um, the shifting, as we said, is really, is really good. I can go into the big ring on a 6% hill, but uh, yeah, it works nicely, obviously. One thing though is that uh, when you first get on the bike, you press the shifter and nothing happens. It kind of freaks you out a little bit because you think it's dead, but it's just, it has to wake up because it's wireless. So. The first press does nothing. Oh, taken. Come out of that. Can't let anyone overtake me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> si, no, el mío no. <laughs> Quiere un, un corso. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, so chipping's good, fast, precise. And the brakes, oh, what a relief, I mean the brakes actually work, they feel really nice. Um, there is no rub on the bike, but um, there is when you get out of the saddle, a tiny bit. It's better than before. Um, oh, she's, she's catching me. Um, but uh, it seems like there's nothing you can do about that. I mean a lot of the good riders that I know are riding 140s, uh, just to avoid the, the brake rub. So, yeah, I just think that's something you've got to live with, really. It's not a, it's not a big deal. As long as it doesn't rub when I'm in the saddle, that's, that's the main thing. Um, so, yeah, charging is done through the rear of the way. Um, just one lead, no transformer. It's a little bit cleaner. USB plugs into computer or whatever. Um, the app is a bit cleaner, more functionality. It's quite nice. Um, I've set these top buttons to change the screen so you can see that changes the screen there like that they're slightly more tactile than before they were a little bit hard to, to get hold of and the uh, and the actual shifter buttons themselves they're a bit bigger and nicer to feel as well so that's a little plus so so mostly good but it's a mixed bag right so conclusions about this 9200 group set well, the first thing that you really can't ignore is the price. I mean, I paid 
3,300 for this without the crank set, without the, the disc rotors. So I'm try, kind of trying to work out what the individual prices actually are to build up to that kind of price, because there's not that much on here really. And um, the conclusions I'm sort of coming to are that the rear mech is 800 euros, the front is 600 euros, the cassette is 300 euros, the chain is 70 euros, the battery is 150 euros, the shifters are about a grand, and the brakes 300, um, and then the other bits and bobs. So all of those prices are a very high for each individual item. They're definitely a big increase on the last uh, Duro Ace um, 9170. So, you know, it's a lot of money. And if you fall off and smash the rear mech, well, the brains are in here now, and that's 800 euros. And that's if you can find one, because they're super hard to get hold of. So it could be that if you crash and, uh, and destroy the rear mech and you can't get hold of one, then you can't ride your bike, because you can't even put on uh, an old Duro Race or an Ortega or something like that, the old Ortega, because it's not gonna be compatible. So you literally have to have that one which is kind of a difficult position to put yourself in really, so that's, that's not great. Um, yeah, the shifting's very good, it's very precise, it's very fast, um, I quite like the glossy finish, which actually matches the Ostro quite well. Uh, I don't particularly like the hood shape very much, the braking seems to be much improved. Let's see after several months if it's still the same. Uh, that's the ultimate test really. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, is it worth it? No, it's not at all. It's, I did it because I had to have good braking. I like going downhill fast and you just can't do that without good brakes and that's, that's why I did it. Um, but if you're coming from 90, 170, you're really not gonna notice a massive difference. But perhaps if you're coming from, from 9,000 or from Ultegra, yeah, maybe. But it's still a lot of money. Um, I can't see it going down anytime, anytime soon, so you know, just, that's just the way it is, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, good system. Uh, is it groundbreaking? No. Uh, don't get the chain, the chain set, it's really not, it's not great. Uh, they didn't even bother making new pedals, which is disappointing, really. I mean, the, the Duro pedals are, are good, but uh, it would be nice to perhaps have a titanium axle or something. Um, so yeah, it, it's good, but uh, earth shattering, uh, no.